The Lord be with you. And also Lord with you. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory be to Christ, Christ our Savior. Savior. Matthew 7, 21 to 27. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. The rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sun. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to Christ, Christ, our Lord. Sit for a moment. Uh, this morning we are so happy and joy to have with us Deacon Rule Strong, one of the most promising uh, deacons and clergymen in our church. I am, I am really, really wonderfully blessed this morning because um, when I close my eyes, I know that our church is so, is so blessed. And as we move forward with the grace of God, he has selected, chosen so many young people to be part of the ministry in his vineyard. Um, I was saying to Uncle Dave this morning that Deacon Strong is not rowdy like me. He's a <laughs> contemplative. He has studied um, in England in the monastic um, setting, and we are really, really, truly overjoyed to have him with us this morning. He is presently serving at St. Agnes on Blue Hill Road, and we will be praying for him because his ordination to the priesthood is in a few days on December 16th. Mm -hmm. So let's welcome him. Yeah. Thank you very, very much, Father. It is a real, real joy to be here um, and to share with you. Um, and, and, and I count it uh, a real privilege um, this morning to be able to reflect and, and to share a while. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Therefore, whoever hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house upon a rock. When I was in Sunday school, we used to sing that song, The Wise Man Built His House Upon a Rock. And as a little boy in Sunday school, I would often reflect on some of these songs. And, and um, some of them, as I came, Later in life, I understood uh, some of them better, and then others of them I understood why I didn't like them. <laughs> uh, this one about the wise man building his house upon the rock, I always thought of this um, because I, I, I really thought it to be a simple matter. Uh, the wise man built his house upon the rock, and the foolish man built his house upon the sand. And I would often think, even as a little boy, who on earth would consciously decide to build their house upon the sand? And when I think of that, and I look at this text today, we see the connection. Jesus is likening this wise man who built his house on the rock to people who hear and do the word of God, and the foolish man who built upon the sand to people who hear but do nothing. And I understand it, that song better 
when I understand this text a bit better. Because it's saying as ridiculous as it may seem for a man to build a house upon a sand, equally ridiculous is someone who hears these words of God and does nothing about them. The person who does nothing about them is the foolish person. And Jesus challenges us in, in our gospel reading, um, certainly as, as he challenges um, people everywhere, not only to hear, but to hear and to do something. Um, it's, it's all well and fine for us to come to Mass, for us to um, share this wonderful faith and life together. But if we do nothing about it, if we, if we don't make a difference in our community, in our society, if we don't make a difference on this island, um, it, it, we, like the, we like the foolish man. We just build in upon sand. And as I often liken this text to in, in, in the Bahamian context, you, you really have to be a wise man because we, we have hurricanes in this part of the world. So you, you, have to be a wise, you have to be a wise man and build upon the rock. Build upon the rock, and, and we know that that foundation and that rock is Jesus. Yeah. And uh, St. Paul says, you know, the foundation that's laid is Jesus Christ. And he says, everyone after that then builds on. Mm -hmm. And St. Paul says, likewise to this text, St. Paul says, everyone has to be careful how they build. Yeah. Every single person has to be careful how they build. Um, and in the same way, we have to be careful how we do. What, what is it that we hear? What is it we come to experience? How do we live that out in the world? How, how do people see that we are Christians? How do people see that we're Anglican? What is, what is, do they see Jesus when they see us? Do they see something of God? Do they see something of the things of faith when they see us? You often heard another song in Sunday school, they know we are Christians by our love. Yeah. And one of my lecturers at Codrington would always say that um, how untrue sometimes that seems. He said the, the truer words for him were they'll know we are Christians by our fussing and fighting with one another. <laughs> <laughs> but as Christians, as Anglicans, we have a responsibility uh, to live a life of faith uh, that really points people to Jesus. Uh, that's, that's what we do here. Um, if, if, if we don't do anything else, we point people to Jesus. Uh, we don't point people to ourselves, but to Him. And we invite them into this task of building a strong house. Yeah. Building a house that's able to withstand the rains and the winds and the confusion and the complexity of life. Um, a house that stands firm. And uh, I trust that uh, as I spend a little while here, that uh, when I go to do, continue the work of, of building the strong house, um, both in your personal journey and in your community here, uh, to build that strong house um, and to encourage those who are building on sand uh, to stop, <laughs> to reconsider, yeah. and to try and build on the rock. Yeah. Right? Um, when we go out, sometimes we see plenty of people building on sand, and because we're building on the rock, we say, all right, very good. Mm -hmm. But we have to look out for those who are building on sand and, and call them to, to come a bit higher and, and to build on the rock, to join us in this great ministry of building. And so we who hear the words now, we go out and do them. Um, we who hear these words, we who build this home on the rock, can be sure, we can be sure that our lives are lives filled with the love of God and kept and protected by the love of God. And in return, our lives are lives that point this entire community to Jesus. So, build a house upon the rock. And when those winds and waves come, we stand firm. Amen. In his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.